Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl from Elongu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below and we'll do it for you. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, everything that you guys do. We're very, very grateful. Thank you for 17,000 subscribers. I'm sure uh, you're going to get tired of me saying that. Otherwise, thank you guys so much. I hope you guys are doing alright and may you stay blessed. A big shout out to the person that suggested this. And today we're reacting to is the cross part of Christianity, the reality of the crucifixion part one. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. <laughs> One of the core tenets of Christianity that we're told is the crucifixion of Jesus, peace be upon him, on a cross. And we're told that his being killed by the Romans, uh, betrayed by the Jews of the time, uh, dying for our sins on a cross, being tortured, this is what brings salvation and so on. Let's look at the crucifixion in the light of the Bible itself and historic documentation and see who was crucified and was anybody put on a cross or not. So the first thing we'll look at is no doubt the symbol itself, the cross. And universally, if you go anywhere in the world, every church you will find a cross on it. The symbol of Christianity today, anywhere, whether it's people wearing chains around their necks or getting tattoos or on their literature, on their books, on the Bibles, is the cross representing the crucifixion of Jesus, peace be upon him. But is that a crucifixion or is it a crucifixional story? Because... In reality, when we go back to the Bible itself, we don't find a cross. Let me give you an example. This is the King James Version of the Bible. And I have with me also the New World Translation of the Bible. We're going to look at a couple of verses here that talk about crucifixion. If we look at the Gospel of Peter, 1 Peter 2.24, in both the King James Version and in the New World Translation, we find that he himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree. We don't find a cross, we find a tree. Uh, in fact, the same thing can be found in uh, Acts when we find the verse 530. In both translations we find the God of our fathers raised Jesus from whom you murdered hanging on a tree. You will find this in the King James Version and you will also find this in the New World Translation that is a preferred translation of Joe Witnesses. Both of these are Christian Bibles, it's not a Catholic Bible, it's not a Book of Mormon, it's not a Muslim translation, both of them have them. What is the Greek word though? Because we have to go back to Koine Greek. The original writings in Aramaic of the followers of Jesus, peace be upon him, are, are lost. So the earliest New Testament manuscripts that we have are in Koine Greek. In Koine Greek, both in Acts 5.30 and Peter 2.24, the word zelon is used, which is a tree or a, 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 a stake, but never for two pieces of wood that could be put together as a cross. But there are some other verses. If we look in the King James Version and we look under Matthew, 2740 in the King James Version under 2740 we find if you're the son of God come down from the cross so reference the cross and you will find this also under in John in John 1917 in the King James Version we find and he bearing his cross went out to a place uh, of a skull now when we look at these in the King James Version, that's what we find. But when we find the New World Translation, interestingly, it's translated differently. Same verse, Matthew 27, 40. And you can see both of them on your screen. Same verse, but different. If you are the Son of God, come down off the torture stake. You notice the difference? 
torture stake instead of cross. The same thing can be found in John 19.17, John 19.17, bearing the torture stake, not cross, uh, for himself, he went out to the so-called skull place. So now, what is the difference? Here the Greek word in both of these verses, in Matthew 27.40, in John 19.17, is staros. So what is staros? Staros in Greek means a stake, a log, never two pieces of wood. And this is not my understanding. If you look in the critical lexicon, uh, in accordance to the English and Greek of the New Testament, it mentions that staros is a log of wood, but never two pieces of wood joined together at any angle. Meaning the original Greek word here could never stand for a cross. It was a stake. Interestingly, you find that in the Companion Bible, it says that there is nothing in the Greek, Kone Greek, original manuscripts of the New Testament that would amplify that there was a use of a cross in any crucifixion, in any hanging of the stake, in any torture. So who was crucified? Well, we'll talk about that later, but first and foremost to understand there was no cross. This symbol that has become an internationally recognized symbol of Christianity is a hoax in and of itself. That symbol is a fallacy. Well, where did it come from? This was a pagan symbol. As you can see on the screen, these are uses of the cross by pagans in Northern Europe when they were being converted. This is why in early Christendom, the early followers of Christianity never used a cross. When pagans wanted to bring their festival, their symbols into the Christian religion, the leaders of the church that corrupted the Christian faith allowed them to bring the cross, knowing that even their own Kone Greek manuscripts did not allow there to be any reference to a cross. In fact, if you go to uh, the early writings in the Bible, 1 Corinthians 10.14, uh, uh, in other verses you will find that symbols being used for religious ideology were forbidden by God in the Bible itself. So what we find is an ancient Egyptian pagan symbol of the cross used by Nordics, used by people in pagan faiths being fabricated into the Christian faith, corrupting the original teachings of the followers of Jesus, peace be upon him. So the cross in itself is not a symbol of Jesus peace be upon him, there was no cross historically in the Bible, in the Greek translations of the Bible that was used to crucify anybody. And I hope this will enlighten people to go and research and find out what more has been added. And this is part one. In part two, we'll dis discuss who was actually killed by the Romans. Was Jesus, peace be upon him, killed or was it somebody else? very very interesting video um i mean he's made a very very good observation and i like that he's respecting the bible while others won't read say other holy books and disrespect them best thumbs up for that and uh to come to the conversation i feel like now they're trying to make up the, for the mistake because they've been called out for the mistakes that they've made in previous bibles so this new translation thingy they're trying to make up and change the narrative so that no one can argue with them there's so many things that have been added or removed and it's 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 really funny and then if you're going to understand something go back to the original to the original so if it was in greek and he's saying in greek it was a stake why is it being translated as a cross who told you it's a cross it doesn't make sense. Stop confusing people. And I don't even, I wouldn't want to believe that the originals um, are lost or something. I feel like they're being hidden so that people don't know the truth, so that people don't know that this trust thing is doesn't make sense at all. Otherwise, um, 
it's always about doing your research don't don't just follow anything that you're presented with otherwise make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video